but not in a good way. Listen to what a bit of what happens when author and scholar Reza Aslan stops by Fox News to promote his new book on Jesus. This is an interesting book. Now, I want to clarify, you're a Muslim, so why did you write a book about the founder of Christianity? Well, to be clear, I am a scholar of religions with four degrees, including one in the New Testament and fluency in Biblical Greek, who has been studying the origins of Christianity for two decades, who also just happens to be a Muslim. So uh, it's not that I'm just some Muslim writing about Jesus. I am an expert with a PhD in the history of religions. Uh, but but, but I have been obsessed question, with Jesus. Though, it still begs the question, why would you be interested in the founder of Christianity? because it's my job as an academic. I am a professor of religion, including the New Testament. Uh, that's what I do for a living. The book, Zealot, The Life and Times of Jesus of Nazareth, reached number one on Amazon today. As you could say, that interview went pretty well from Reza Aslan's point of view. He joins me now. Reza, I mean, what were you thinking as that interviewer was asking those ridiculous questions? Uh, well, look, I mean, truly, I was kind of embarrassed. I mean, there's nothing more distasteful than an academic having to like trot out his credentials. I mean, it, you really come off as a jerk when you do that. But it was very hard not to keep mentioning that I'm actually qualified to write this book. So let's talk about the book instead. Yeah. I, mean, you, I mean, it's obviously worked pretty well for you in the sense everyone's been talking about it. You're number one on Amazon. Must be, it must be uh, a good feeling. Tell me this, cut to the book itself. What is the premise of the book and what is the conclusion that you reached? Well, the book is a historical biography of a man named Jesus of Nazareth. It tries to sort of separate him from the Christology that arose around him uh, in the generations that followed. And it's really an attempt to figure out what can we know about this man. And although we can know very little about him, we know a lot about the world in which he lived. So I just take what little we know about him, that he was a Jew, that he started a Jewish movement, and that he was crucified as a state criminal as a result of it, put it in the world in which he lived, and the picture that arises of Jesus is of a far more revolutionary figure than the kind of detached celestial spirit that I think most people think Jesus was. Taking the, the uh, Fox interview as a basis for this next question, but do you think it would be helpful generally if more Muslims read more about Christianity, more Christians read more about the Muslim faith? I think for sure. I mean, look, knowledge is key to figuring out who we are and, and, and how we feel about each other. But I just want to say, like, I, I completely understand where Lauren Green is coming from. I kind of feel bad for her. I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that when you write about religion like I do, you're writing about something that people take very seriously. And I understand that a lot of people, whether it's Muslims or Christians or Jews or what have you, feel sometimes that academics like myself are attacking their faith, attacking their very identity. But nothing can be further from the truth. I mean. As I've said repeatedly, you know, the most important people in, in my life are Christian, my wife and my mother, and Christianity is a very important religion. I have no interest in attacking it. And frankly, this is not a book about Christianity because Jesus was a Jew. It's a book about Judaism. Uh, tell me, Reza, about your own religious journey, if you like, that you've gone on in your life. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I was, you know, came from a Muslim family, came to the United States in 1979 at a time in which it wasn't such a great idea to be a Muslim uh, in the 80s. You know, not much has changed, I guess, nowadays. Uh, but really, when I was 15, I heard the gospel message for the first time, and it had a profound effect on me. Converted to evangelical Christianity, spent the next three or four years of my life really preaching the gospel. And then when I went to a Catholic Jesuit institution, Santa Clara University, and really began an academic, in-depth study of the New Testament with my Jesuit professors, all of a sudden I realized that there was this distance between the historical figure that I was learning about and the Christ that I, that I was introduced to in church. And although I really kind of went away from the Christian faith and really went back to the faith and, and, and practice of my forefathers, I became incredibly interested in Jesus the man and spent the next 20 years studying him, really trying to mold my life after him. I mean, he truly is my hero. Well, Reza, it's good to talk to you. The book is called Zealot, The Life and Times of Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, you should be thanking Fox News, really, because they have springboarded you to number one best-selling book in the country. Many congratulations. It's a terrific read. Uh, you don't need any hype from me. It's already doing itself. So good to talk to you. Thanks, Piers.